Morning, everybody. Captain Kobe here with you today. Got a whole different uniform on today. Got a different hat. I wear all kinds of hats, baby. I wear a fire hat, chef hat. Today I got on my carpenter hat. I want to uh, want to build a cooktop or a rolling top for uh, for the show. We're getting a little cramped up over there at the fire station. So what I want to do is I want to build me a a rolling cooktop where I can just roll a thing in and out of the station if I want to. And uh, what we got right here is some lumber cut. It's some rough cut lumber from a, from a tree, basically. And as you can see, it has this live edge on it. You still see the bark of the tree on there. We're gonna try to put these things together. We we'll use that for our sides and the top of our cooktop. Rocco, tell everybody hi, baby. That's my trusted dog, Rocco. And what we have here is some slabs, some giant slabs of the tree. We're gonna load that up, take that over to the cabinet shop this morning, see if we can get this worked out, get our cooktop made. Morning, everybody. Day two. Stay wearing my carpet in the hat. Day two, we putting together uh, the base of this rolling uh, cooktop that we building. Uh, I wanted to film a little more of us uh, running those big giant logs through the uh, planer, but we have such a hard time with that. It took both of us to hold up both of those pieces and. We, we struggle, we struggle bad. So I didn't get a chance to film and I'm a little disappointed in that. But what I did do is uh, I put them together, I glued them together. I had a tough time with that. Worked till dark the other night, drilled these things out, burned up two drills, basically. Uh, one electric and one battery drill, threw them away, they done. Burned them up, burned up my auger bits. I mean, this pecan wood is like concrete, it's hard as hell. But uh, we got it done, we got it put together, and I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. All right. This is what everything looks like. We got it planed. And uh, we got it all put together by the hardest. A pretty good seam right there. That was tough. Got a few things to sand down a little bit. But uh, I can get a whole shot in here. You can pretty much tell it looks like we just cut out a piece of the tree. Now this truly is one board, it was one board. We cut it in half and then we, we merged them together. So this is what our top our top is gonna look like. It's kind of preliminary, it's not finished, but uh, I think you get the gist of it. So we got them clamped up and I'm gonna let that dry up and we'll see what happens. Yes, I shanked that nail. Yes, I'm a shankopotamus. Now I'm gonna get my square out and draw a line so that I don't shank anymore, because I hate messing up. Alright, let's show them, baby. Let's show them what we got. 
All right. What we have right here, we have our cabinet, we have our base unit, our, our box is what I like to call, we have that built. And what we're going to have right here is we have a rack of drawers, probably three, three drawers, maybe four drawers that are come up and down right here. Keep our silverware and everything like that. Right here we have two big doors that open up. We keep our pots, our propane that's going to feed our cooktop right here. Our cooktop should sit right on the top of this. Right here we're going to have a, uh, a pull-out drawer for my seasoning, for Captain Kobe's Cajun seasoning, that's right. And probably under that we have like, we better pull out, tear out some uh, saran wrap or some uh, clean wrap. The other side we'll probably have some aluminum foil, things like that. And then right here will be our future oven. We'll have a, a drop-in oven. I don't want a very big one because I don't put very big things in the oven anyway. Right, Rocco? Right? Yeah, he agrees too. All right. Let's see, bud. And listen, if y'all wondering, is my dog really this big? The answer is yes. He's about 30 inches tall. He's a big giant boxer. He's my best bud. He's my best friend. And uh, we do everything together outside. But he is a big old boy. He thinks he's a lab dog, though. Right, bud? No? Okay. look like we got all put together we're about to nail this sucker together on here uh, see what it looks like Got it nailed up. Now we're gonna see what it looks like. Right, Rock? Gonna see what it looks like? Let's see it, buddy. Now everybody can get a good idea of what we got right here now that our face frame is on. Everybody can see things coming together. This will be our rack of drawers right here. And right here in the middle, we have an area where our pots are. I have decided to incorporate a little small drawer right there. Be able to pull it out, pot holders, small spoons, knives, whatever I need. Something quick right above, right beneath the stove. And this will be our little spice rack. I think we have another place for where we pull out foil and maybe a, a pot, a, a place for our uh, pans. And then we have a cutout for our stove right here. So... Not many times you better see what it's gonna look like from behind, but this is a the rough cut of everything, how it's gonna look, shaping up. Now we're gonna clamp this top up, make sure everything's tight, and then take a break for lunch. Well, Rocco, hey, Rocco, what you think about our cooktop, bud? You like it? Yeah, me too. Good morning, everybody. Captain Cobra back at it. Third day, building our, uh, Rolling cooktop. I'm just getting off duty. We had a uh, a quiet night last night, so we should have a good productive day at work today. 
And uh, let me show you what we got right here. We, uh, we finished this up. Got it all framed up. All I did was rip a little piece of, of uh, plywood. I got a quarter inch plywood to stiffen that thing up and I, I ripped some uh, three quarter plywood, kind of framed it. We're gonna have some tin kind of sit in there. Uh, that's what we're gonna work on today. And then we, we're gonna have our, uh, let me see if I can show you that. See this right here? That's gonna be our uh, frame of, uh, around our metal. So that's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully by the end of the day, when we get everything wrapped up, you can kind of see how this is all going to come together. Stay tuned with us, babe. Well, I don't think bad about working under your carport in your carport slash workshop. When it rains, you get rained out. All right, we're gonna try this again. Day four, uh, it's just ra still rain this morning. So it looked like, I think the rain is over. Got a little cold front coming through or cool front. Um, try to get this thing done today. Or get most of it done. I already put the wheels on. I'll show you what we got working with today. All right, what we got right here? Just be, just be outside and we'll kind of represent this the same way on the front. What we want to do is we we'll put a piece of tin in here. But if I put the tin by itself in this gap, it's, it's, it's going to leave a little gap. And I don't like that. I like everything to be flush. I like everything to feel well. So what we got to do is we got to fur this out. And uh, I ripped this board already. Kind of see how that's gonna go. It's gonna go in there like that. Then our piece of tin should go in and fit flush. So go ahead and get that done for you so you can see how it's done. That rock. Hey, you like it? Do you like it? All right, everybody. We've been playing it all day. Uh, it takes some time to get all that stuff playing down, but uh, I kind of wanted to show y'all. This is what we started with. This is the rough look that we had. And this is the finished look. Big difference, right? Rough, finish. We're gonna put this all together, sand it down. Should make our uh, cooktop look phenomenal. All right, as you can see, I got some, some things cut, made some preliminary cuts on this wood that we playing right here. Um, what I'm trying to achieve, and I, I, I see you kind of get a good look, is I wanna keep this live edge right here I'm gonna keep the live edge where it looks like it flows. So as you come and we cut it, it'll outline the tin with this live edge. All right, so we're gonna make some preliminary cuts right here on the side, we're gonna mark this here. Being that none of this stuff is straight, I'm kinda gotta set it where it's at, make some preliminary cuts. And then we'll see how they look like, but this is a, a base of 
pretty much everything's gonna look like. Good morning, everybody. We are on, I don't even know what day we're on anymore. Five, six, I don't know, maybe even seven. Anyway, we are here today. We wanna to put everything together. Uh, as you can see right here, we have, um, Everything's gonna be built. We're gonna sand them down real well and then we're gonna put it all together and we're gonna get it prepped out. So anyway, we got all this stuff uh, prepped up, ready to go. We're gonna get to sand and then uh, kind of show y'all how that's gonna go down today. Stay tuned, stay with us, baby. All right, everybody, let me show you what we're trying to achieve here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but as you can see, we have a little lip on this thing right here that we're trying to take out. And these, see how these, this, Wood is raised right here. That's from the planer. Uh, we got to sand all this out. Even though I like a rough cut, this final pro project right here is going to be nice and smooth and it's going to really pop and stand now. So we got to get this sanded down, get these edges flushed, and then see what we look like. Got our stuff stand up. We want to shoot this together right quick, like. And this is kind of how it will fit inside the, the, the thing. Welcome back, everybody. Good morning. It's a little chilly out here this morning. Uh, I have no idea what day we're on anymore. So we're just going to say good morning. And uh, we got a few things we're gonna work on. We're getting kind of close. We got a lot of things done. We're gonna try to get, uh, let me see if I can get, get you a shot of that right quick, like. Try to finish our drawers up, which we're pretty close with that. We're gonna work on this massive top today, which I think is gonna come out pretty nice, but it'll probably take us all day. And we went ahead and put together our ribbon that's gonna go on the front side of our uh, rolling top. And this is what I want to show everybody. Look, I fortified these corners. A lot of people just kind of butt join them together, just kind of slap them together. I think that looks spectacular. There's no joint, there's no line. It just looks fantastic. Uh, I could have did it the other way, but I know every time I saw that, it would probably bother me. So we went ahead and did it this way. So we're gonna sand this down today for our final touches with a little orbital sander. We're gonna belt sand this. That's gonna take us pretty much all day right here. Well, first thing we wanna work on is knocking these drawers out, finish nailing the bottoms, and uh, we'll see how they fit. We'll get on that in just a sec. All right, everybody, what we got right here is I have, I have some drawers made. I kind of put them together. Uh, I don't make a fancy drawer. Just got a piece of quarter inch on the bottom of this. That's how I do mine and staple them down real well. Uh, we're gonna put these drawer slides in in just a minute. And uh, we'll see how good our drawer slide. Now that we got our drawer slides put in on the inside right here, I'm gonna take these top pieces and put them on here and get them ready. And once this is all screwed in there, we'll see what our drawers are made of, how good they slide, what they do, if we gotta make any adjustments. But I'm hoping everything goes good. All right, now that we got everything together, we're gonna Put these drawers in, see if they slide well. 
Uh, hopefully everything runs smooth. These are some soft clothes, drawer slides, so they should ease in there nice and slow, right? All right, let's check it out. All right, what we got right here, I got one drawer in, I got one drawer at the top. I wanna show you all this. This is some uh, some soft clothes, drawer slides. They should slide in uh, and you really can't slam them. See if I can set this down and get this where we need to be. And uh, that should be nice and easy when they close, like. Beautiful, right? Let's see. Make sure you put this in nice and easy. Take your time, level it up, do it right. That shit close like that every time. All right, we got one big drawer left to build right here, uh, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I cut that cooktop out to, to find out exactly where that gas uh, line hookup is. So I don't want my drawer running into my gas line hookup. And we have this little uh, drawer thing I'm gonna build a little bit later too. I'm gonna have these two drawers. We're gonna build these together. And uh, right now we're gonna focus on this big top. That's right, it's gonna give me the blues. I'll probably be saying it for the rest of the day, but it should come out fantastic. All right, here's our top. <clears throat> this is what we're looking at. Uh, I have my hand planing right here. As you can see, I kind of planed a few places already. Looks a little rough. We're gonna kind of clean that up a little bit. We got some spots right here that are really bad. We're gonna try to clean this up. Um, so we're gonna do a little hand planing, then we're gonna come back, we're gonna belt sand, then we're gonna belt sand probably three different grits of sandpaper, and then we'll come back with our arbiter and kind of clean this thing up. But uh, from a standpoint right here, this is what our top is gonna look like, hopefully. It looks a little rough right now, but when it's all said and done, it should be nice and clean. don't think this pecan is hard. Ah! Brand new, burn it up. I bought it cheaper because I knew it would burn it up. Got screws flying out of this thing. All right, let's try this one more time before I don't have no more tools left on my tool trailer. All right. You can still see these ridges that I left with this planer. Not a bad thing right here. When that planer gets to bouncing, it gets to chewing up that wood pretty good. But that's okay. We're about to bell sand this thing. Probably for about four hours. So when we get to little stuff like this, I'm sure how we're gonna fix this. Hopefully our, our piece comes out the way we want it. All right, we got our bell sander. We're gonna belt sand this thing. We got some uh, some 40 grit. Looks pretty rough. It's gonna take every bit of that 40 grit to get all of this out of there, though. We gotta get all these lines out, all these cut lines that's coming through there, and uh, we'll see what we made of. See right here, we I have one side sanded. Only took me an hour, but this is one side sanded. All those little pits are gone. If you want to peek on over to this side, you can see on this side they're still there. But on this side, on this half, nice and smooth. Everything looks good. No more pits. That's what we're trying to achieve. Just with the 40 grit. So we're gonna hit this, put it a couple places. Uh, hit it with some 80, kind of clean it up with some 120. How are we gonna jump on this side? Get all these gouges out of there, hopefully.
All right, here we go, guys and gals. This is what we look like. No more scratches, no more deep gouges. Got a couple little things like this we're gonna fill with some putty. I'm sure how we're gonna take care of some of these things right here, all these little imperfections. Take care of all of that. This is basically what she's gonna look like. Now I gotta go blow my nose. I got some wood boogers gonna be on my nose for a week. All right, you can see right here, here's a knot and inside of this knot, we just wanna fill this with a little putty. Get a little heavy on the top of there. We're gonna walk around, catch all these little holes. All right. Got them all putted up right here. Right, Rocco? You good? Now we're gonna take our 80 grit, sand this down, see how she looks. Okay, everybody, I have sanded this thing down. You can see pull all that darkness out of that wood. And when we putted all these things, like right here, we have two different two-tone color putty things that came in there, made everything look real well. So this is what we're gonna look like now that it's all sanded in knocked down what i want to show you is right here where there's putty filled in there i uh i kind of don't like it so what we're going to do is get this stain pencil now we're going to just like a natural piece of wood. All right, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Before, after. All right, this is a preview, pretty much what it's gonna look like. Got it all sanded. See that live edge on there, I like it. Got that big kick out coming right here. Looks like that. We'll see.